Angry Joe here, and I'm with Ed Boone, the one and only <laughs> creator of Mortal Kombat. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time uh, to speak with me here about, obviously, MKX. This has to be uh, one of the games I'm most hyped up for this year. Uh, definitely in my top five. Really excited of, of the roster. I've never wanted to play so many different characters and oh. try to get good with them and stuff. So I think it's perfect we're seeing a new blend of new characters and old characters. Sure, sure. So um, I guess we'll jump right in. Uh, could you tell, and I have a few com uh, questions from the community, I hope that's okay with you. And uh, so let's jump right in and, and could you explain to us maybe how long is the story mode? Is it sort of comparable to MK9 or Injustice that we've seen before? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's um, the story is about as long as MK9. I know that, that there's more uh, like cinematic footage in this one than any of, of, of the games that we've done before. Nice. Um, but uh, we really like um, are, are putting in the effort to tell as detailed of a story as possible. You know, with all this new generation of characters, there's a lot of history, so we're jumping kind of back and forth between, you know, present day and past day and stuff. So you see the characters in older and younger form and, and dead form. And that's what I love about the Mortal Kombat franchise, at least lately, is there's been so much innovation. It's, just, it's not just, here's a new roster of characters, go at it. Yeah. Here's a new roster of characters plus an entire cinematic story that go, runs for a long, like three movies in yeah. one. Yeah. You guys go usually above and beyond. It's in your history, too. You, you had you know RPG-like modes. You had crazy stuff like MK Chess. Yeah. So it's good yeah. that you guys are still innovating. Let's yeah. talk a little bit about what innovations are in this one. I've been seeing materials on what's called online uh, factions, where you sure. pledge allegiance to a certain faction. Sure. Now, can you be any character and pledge allegiance to a faction, or do you have to be Kano to pledge allegiance to, you know, uh, Black Dragon? No, no. Um, factions are completely independent of the characters. Oh, okay. So you can play any Anybody character in any faction. Mm -hmm. The faction is really just, you know, who are you into? Are you into the Lin Kuei, mm -hmm. you know, Sub Zero, and all that stuff? You're the White Lotus. You know, kind of good guy stuff. You're a bad guy. You know, the the black dragon, and so it's exactly. it's kind of like what your personality that you associate with, and then you're you know you kind of group together with people who also chose that, and mm -hmm. then everything you do in the game is kind of just adding points. So imagine everybody throwing you know points into a big gigantic bucket. And what's the overall goal there? Like, what do we get if our faction wins during that month cycle, or what yeah, we yeah. Well, there's there's things like rewards that you get, like. Um, you have these faction kills, which is like a, almost like a, like a brutality where oh, it's like know, a new reality. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. You get to kill, yeah. you get to kill opponents. Like Black Dragon like, has their own fatality, and that's different exactly. from Lin exactly. Kuei. Okay, yeah, so they all, all five factions mm -hmm. have unique uh, brutality. So there's tons of stuff. You're going to be amazed with this game of how much you can unlock in this game. Mm -hmm. um, and so a lot of them is associated with factions and stuff, and you get things for winning. And then the next week. You restart, and then the faction that was winning kind of has to defend their, you okay. know, their, their crown and all that stuff. It's a great a kind good. of big medic. And there was another aspect to that called invasions. Yeah. And that's why a, a faction that nobody can play as, right? But then how does an what is yeah. an invasion? Yeah, an invasion is actually like uh, I always called it a, a blue light special. So it's yeah. kind of like a special, all right, you know, yeah. special mode where you know you get, you know you know, more XP or what you do plays a bigger part to your faction. There are these ladders that are uh, available only during invasions that you want to conquer. So it's basically like uh, like a special, you know, 24 hour event right. where you are, um, have all these extra things that you can do to help your faction That's cool. and then it goes back to normal. So an invasion is a blue light spec, a same yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in speaking of uh, ladders, uh, God, there's just so much in this game to talk about. Challenge uh, towers, right? Uh, where you do different things. I'm wondering, will we still get a reward for going through and doing all of the challenge towers like we did in MK9? Yeah, well, a it, special it, reward. In Mortal Kombat 9, uh, there, there was a, a tower, it was like 300 tall. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't have a tower in that respect, mm -hmm. but we have way more challenges. And they're broken up into um, what we're calling living towers. Mm -hmm. And so basically, every time you turn the game on, there's going to be three towers in the living tower section. One changes every hour, one changes every day, Damn. and one is called like a premier tower, which is kind of like a uh, like an event tower. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, if um, uh, 
Jason comes along. You know, you're going to have a Jason tower yeah. that you play as Jason, Jason and, you, yeah. and you fight up. And, and you can even use that tower if you didn't even uh, purchase Jason. Wow. That's so awesome. it's really cool. It gives players a, a taste of, of like, um, you that's know, what the character is like to play and whatnot. And then there are other ones that change every hour, change every day. So it's it's different every time you 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 sign into the game. We really well, want to get some kind of you know yeah. oh, yeah, some, yeah. like get some scans or something interesting exactly. by doing it. Otherwise, people exactly. may not go in there. No, right? no, you do, you do. And and like you know, there's there's this whole uh, um, collection of like cards that we have for like your player tag. Yeah. And this time, you know, the your cards and your borders and your icons actually affect your game so oh, like, yeah. they'll like buff up your xp or they'll, they'll, cool. they'll do different things to kind of oh, like those things we saw in injustice where you can sort of customize your profile exactly and stuff. that's the but you mix and match them right. so if you want like extra you know extra damage or what, what whatever like mm -hmm. you know the variables that we're giving you to adjust with and so they actually mean something in the game and there are just you know there's just hundreds of them in the game and you can like certain towers is the only way to do it so if you right. miss that you know that valentine's day tower mm -hmm. you know you're, 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 you're out of luck next year, yeah, next yeah. year right? So there are all these kind of like like event towers that we're calling premiere towers. There was one mode in MK9, and I loved it to death. It's the only knock I see on MKX where there's no two v two tag yeah. mode, yeah. and I've seen people talk about it, and it's it's hard to complain because we're getting you know all this stuff from the game already. We're getting. Uh, let's see, test your luck, custom combat, living tower over 100 brutalities, two fatalities yeah, each yeah. character, quickalities, yeah. faction fatalities, uh, you know, yeah. alternate costumes, living maybe classic towers, costumes yeah. are coming back, but could you tell us like what happened there? Why, why aren't we getting the tag mode and might we see that in the future? Yeah, well we certainly haven't ruled it out forever. Mm -hmm. um, Ironically, you know, uh, we, we've done a ton of, we do a ton of like, um, you know, kind of like post-mortem feedback mm -hmm. with, with uh, after every game that we do. And ironically, you know, MK9, you would be surprised how few people, really? how few people choose the tag. The, okay. the tag. So y'all had stats on what oh, was yeah, being yeah. played. And, and, and right? we, we, don't get me wrong, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we love it. And I, I know love. that there are people who are like, you know, yeah. like Our feverishly yeah. love it, you know, which, which is great. Um, but, you know, with all those features that you were talking about, we only have a certain amount of energy <laughs> to right, go into. Right. And, and TAG actually is a ton of uh, additional work. Mm -hmm. And again, not, not, not to say that we, we love the feature too, but at some point we wanted to introduce new stuff and that just kind of won out mm -hmm. as far as, you know, bringing back up. Are we, have we seen all the alities in the game or are there going to be some surprises in there? Like a level fatalities, is that possibly in the game? Uh, no, we don't have, we don't have uh, uh, level fatalities, um, but, but I, I'm, there's but so the, many, there's so many, I'm not even sure which one we've announced, but so we did the quitality, we did the brutality, yeah, and fatality. There's a level fatality. interactions, there's a ton of, okay. It's, Sucks to hear that there's not that, but it's still fun. But how about the excellent? Here's a mode that I think a lot of people do appreciate and play: King of the Hill mode. Is that still yes. in the game? Absolutely. Because it's a different vibe in there. Everybody talks to each other, a little less trolly. Yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, and it. uh, since we're on online, I need to talk to you. I'm a little concerned about the net code. Right. And the MK community is like terrified. Are yeah. we going to get the same kind of you know launch that we did with MK9? And, and are you guys? What have you done with the net code and have you been aware? Obviously oh, you got a little bit yeah. better with Injustice yeah. and hopefully we're seeing yeah, I think, even better. I think yeah, every game we take what we learn. You know, and again we, we do a lot of these these kind of you know postmortem, you know, what could we have done better mm -hmm. uh, on this game? And then certainly the, the you can you can never uh, not improve getting with yeah. the, um, online. Uh, and it's tough with peer-to-peer -peer servers because you get to open ports on your things. I wish sometimes yeah. somebody would do like servers or something. Or, yeah. or there's other systems, more creative systems that your competitors have, have been trying out. Uh, is there going to be any sub changes to the net code? Yeah, yeah. And absolutely. So you're guaranteeing that it's going to be improved. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. It's going to be improved over MK9, certainly even improved over Injustice. You know, we really are, um, Focusing a lot of it, and as well as just kind of like the messaging. You know, one of one of the problems um, that uh, MK9 had when we first launched it was it just kind of had this vague message of you know you know connection was lost, and it would right. never tell you exactly what happened. The other guy just you, so you got that in, right? yeah. And so okay. that was a lot of what we were 
trying to, uh, to address is just so, and then also kind of uh, doing what we can to connect people that have, both have good connections, yeah. so somebody with a bad connection doesn't kind of lower. I play a lot with my fans online. I love the 100 rooms because, you know, I can fill that 100 room up and, and, and play players individually. Are we still seeing that kind yeah, of stuff? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm excited about Goro. This is the first time he's in the game in a substantial way. Yeah. Uh, so I must ask, are we fine? Are we, are fatalities going to work on Goro? Yes. 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 Yeah, All right. Yeah, we got yeah. confirmation of that. Yeah, Full yeah. playable yeah. character. Absolutely. And what about for people that don't pre-order, don't believe in pre-orders, is he going to be available and for when and how much? Uh, well, he's going to be a, uh, like if you pre-order, you get it in right away, in yeah, a sense. Free. Um, uh, but, but then he's going to be like, like every other mm -hmm. DLC character, you know, like, like I'm not sure what it was, $4.99 in the U.S. or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he'll be available right away to... to okay, well. okay, cool. Well, I have a few questions from the fans. Let's go through these real quick. Um, will we see a combat... Pack two. I'm still holding out for what I feel could be the most interesting and highly requested characters. I did a, a poll on my site. There's a bunch of responses. I think the two that were at the top that won out is uh, Ash uh, from The Evil Dead and uh, Spawn. These are two characters yeah. that are perfect for the yeah. Mortal Kombat universe. Yeah. Have great variation potential. Absolutely. Are we maybe going to see additional combat packs outside of the ones that we've already know about? Predator, Tremor, and Yes, we haven't ruled it out, and, and obviously I can't like announce anything right, or something right. like that. We haven't ruled it out, but you know, I, I guess you know, people seem to really love these additional new yeah. characters and stuff, and especially the uh, the, the guest characters mm -hmm. are like you know, an MK. It's an interesting. Predator is amazing. Yeah, in MK9, uh, Freddy was the the most downloaded. Yeah, character. yeah. And in, in Injustice, Scorpion was the most. You know, so Scorpion. all these guest characters yeah, are like yeah. the the most. Um, but so I would. I think it would be awesome, it'd be amazing. There are other variables involved, like our next game and, yeah, yeah. and whatnot like that. So Dude, I would I'm telling you, Predator's gonna be the most downloaded character. Oh yeah, I'm so yeah, excited. Yeah. Especially with the variation on one with a mask, one without a mask. You gotta have Predator uh, mimicking. Oh, do they do the DLC characters still have the entrances yes. like everybody else? Yeah, so I wanna see Predator be like want some candy or maybe <laughs> mimic some of right. this stuff, yeah, you know. Yeah. Cassie Cage being cocky to Predator and Predator like you know throwing it right back at her with yeah. her, kind of learning her language. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so um, let's see. So what else do we have here? Any chance of seeing the UMK3 skins instead of the old MK1 skins this time? Because uh, yeah, I love those. There's certainly those a chance. squares. Okay. Yeah, there certainly is a chance. And and um, you know it's what what what's a, a blessing and a curse I guess with Mortal Kombat is there's mm -hmm. so many characters inevitably. Some costume, some character, you know, yeah, isn't going to make the cut because like otherwise we'll have you know yeah. eighty characters in the game. <laughs> like Armageddon, I remember that type thing. thing. And I, I so, I, but people really responded to the nostalgia costumes. Yeah. So you're going to see some really cool like like MK1 costumes and all these MK3. Really, yeah. Oh that, that, man, see, please, see, please, a ton, please. A ton of. Uh, Stuff. This is huge for me because I did a review uh, and I put in a little bit when I was in the crypt, okay, cooking with Ermac, a throwback right, right, to right, cooking with right, right. Scorpion. You remember that? Oh, I love that. So, is there going to be a crypt and are we going to have so, some of that fun stuff that's kind of off the wall in the crypt that we all love Mortal Kombat for? Yeah. And we've seen the crypt in the achievements, so it's in there, right? Yeah. Um, this crypt will be. Uh, it, it's another leap forward in terms of our crypt stuff. You know, there's there's interaction. There's there's you know. So you're saying it's even better? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's shit. like yeah, yeah. It's, okay. it's there there is um there is uh, little fun parody things maybe. There's hiding there's, there's, little, there's mechanics in mm -hmm. it. You know, it's not just uh, a hunting and there's there's puzzles. You know, there's there's a ton of really cool stuff in the crypt that uh, we haven't even shown a glimpse oh, yeah. of, and it's actually coming out leaked. But uh, I haven't we're, seen it. We're, when, when people see it, they're really going to dig it. Well, uh, there's, there's been some nasty rumors of, of microtransactions possibly being a part of the crypt. Please tell me. Yeah, no, no, no. You, you, don't, you, don't, buy, you don't buy things that are in the crypt. You know, and here's, here's the thing. With, with, with this game, you know, one of the things, again, um, there are certain people who, um, who just absolutely cannot do a fatality. Yeah, um, unfortunately, you know, so we put fatality training rooms and stuff like yeah, that, yeah. and and whatever. But we we have a feature where you can in the crypt, yeah, you can actually 
yeah. unlock, a fatality. unlock a, a what's called an easy fatality. Yeah, and like okay. and those for, for those things you get thrown in the crypt from the burning and whatnot like that. So it's not it's you know that and that's one little consumable little tiny thing, little thing. Yeah. But but it's not like you know it's not you know we don't have the game filled with you know give me money give me money. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not and like, I, and I heard that a little bit from Sean who was saying you know because I had another concern that you guys maybe were spending a little too much time. Uh, with your main team on, on the mobile game, but then he was telling me, no, those are two separate, two separate teams. teams yeah. We don't we don't deal with that. Yes, there's some crossover. Like you can unlock skins. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you can unlock yeah. skins in the yeah. main game and unlock yeah, the skins. Johnny, in the, the Johnny game. Cage skin that you uh -huh. get from the mobile game is, is by far the coolest, the coolest skin in the game. Yeah, and but see the mobile game and you know Injustice, I felt like I hit a paywall and I was arguing with Sean. He was like, there's no paywalls in, in that. I'm like, there is when you hit an extra. He's like, no. He's like, I make sure before I let some go out of the door, I play it myself without spending a dime to make uh -huh. sure you can do it. Yes, there's grinding in it, yeah. but there's but there's it's true. It's, it's true. Yeah, I mean, and and there there is grinding, and like I think like you know just the nature of of, of kind of free to play games. At some point, you know, people just don't want to spend the time doing it. But we do you know much to... about the mobile game? Could you explain some of the new features in, in the mobile game for us to try um, to convince us? To... We have we haven't actually. We're, yeah. we're, we're, we're about to about release to some a lot of information okay. of that. But you know, it's it's there's certain similarities with yeah. with injustice. You know, mm -hmm. and it's it's like the the, the, the tag format and all mm -hmm. that stuff. And like it's still free to play. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. Okay, so it's got the tag format there. You yeah. know, it's a small right. constellation. <laughs> Damn it. But yeah, okay, man. I think you've you've pretty much covered everything. Uh, let's see. Why no Hispanics on the roster, man? With Ermac being a collection of souls now, you know, because Ermac is to me, Ermac seems Hispanic. You know, darker skin tone in Ultimate yeah. Warcraft Three is maybe Tremor fills that role. Maybe Tremor's Hispanic. He's got darker skin. Yeah, Why no Hispanics on the Until you said, until you said that, um, it hadn't even dawned on me, and I'm Hispanic, yeah, so it's kind of really weird. Yeah, so. Um, <laughs> So uh, definitely, <laughs> and, and definitely, if we do another game, yeah, that's gonna Throw be a priority. Yeah, dude, I'm so yeah. excited about these new characters like Aaron Black. I mean, uh, some of these haven't been like officially announced. Do you? Do we know the final number on the roster? I did a roster analysis. I think I pegged it at like 25. You know, because that's, we've seen these that's characters. About right. Luke Kane was just revealed in that uh, Maxim Russia thing. Yeah. Where it's like evil Luke Kane, so people are gonna be hyped as hell for that. Yeah. Um, but I've seen is Aaron Black an actual playable character? A cowboy I'm from Austin, Texas. I would love to. Yes. 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 We're, we're actually doing a, uh, a a stream tomorrow. I'm not oh, sure excellent. when when your thing's gonna go yeah, up, yeah. but uh, that's gonna that's, that's gonna go uh, showing his. Uh, his <laughs> All these characters are really yeah. awesome, yeah. and um, I'm excited for its release. Is there any um, anything that you else uh, want to want to highlight in the game? That uh, fun to make, or you're excited about getting uh, the players to try it out and get feedback. From you know, the, like like you said, it, the, the 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 number of modes that we have in the game is, is amazing. I thought MK9 had a lot of stuff. You know, I thought Injustice had a lot of stuff. This mm -hmm. has way more stuff uh, as far as just completely different game modes. You know, you can have five people form a team and play another five people as far as like you oh, know, cool. match together yeah. and kind of like so you can be like you know your mm -hmm. unbeatable Furious Five. Uh, Group and uh, it's all kind of tied in with the factions. There's, there's, it's the game is so deep. Yeah, you know, you and know, I think that because it, there's that depth, people are more uh, willing to buy into the, the to the DLC. And I think it's a good deal because some people say, oh, thirty dollars, that's about the absolute maximum. I kind of agree, but you're getting yeah. so much. You, you get the four characters, and you're getting some like fifteen skins. If yeah. you count the samurai yeah. skins. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. And I wanted to throw an idea your way. Uh, DLC maps or just free map updates would be even better than DLC maps. Yeah. Like, you know, that would be appropriate to the new characters like Predator, Jungle and the Predator, yeah. or Summer Camp with Jason where he can, you know, take sleeping <laughs> that's, bags, that's... put them in a sleeping bag and hit them up against, <laughs> did you see Jason X? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was such a hilarious fatality. I like how they sort of do the parodies and stuff. And yeah. J at first, I gotta, be, I gotta be honest with you, I thought Jason was kind of boring, but you know, I, I had feedback from the fans. They opened my eyes, they said, Joe, oh, think about it. Jason's like the father of fatalities, all yes. these creative yeah. fatalities. Yeah. So I'm hoping we see some creative uh, fatalities for that. And I don't want to take up too much of your time. So, but, oh, there's one other thing. I was wondering, um, uh, the x-rays and the uh, character uh, intros, uh, sometimes they felt a little repetitive in the previous game. Have you guys maybe added more variations of the intros and the characters communicating with each other in the x-ray moves? Or is yeah. it just one x-ray and one intro? I think people have seen a, 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 a 
small glimpse of mm -hmm. all the stuff. There are thousands of thousands lines of, of, of dialogue that are, that are that are you know. So if you, if you take every character and kind of like mm -hmm. line up, there's a line. There are multiple lines for every character talking to each other. You're going to be hearing new new stuff, things that people that the characters say to each other for months. You know, okay, and, yeah. and and I think that's, that's so good. But the X-rays is still just one X-ray. Right? Yeah, the X-rays kind of like a super. Guys, got to, you got to do at least two next time. Okay, well, all right, I don't want to take much more of your time, but thank you so much uh, for thank talking you. with me, Ed. I'm really excited about Mortal Kombat, and uh, you guys can play it for yourselves on uh, April 4th, 14th. 14th. Yeah. All right, guys, and what systems is it going to be on? It's going PC, to be on PC, PS4, PS4 uh, Xbox One. Xbox One. There's a delay, yeah. though, on yeah. the, oh, what happened there? The, is the, that you guys? Well, you know, the... Um, we were only working on the mm -hmm. PlayStation 4 and the uh, Xbox One uh, versions. And, and you're not working on the PC? No, no. Okay. And, and so basically, you know, it really kind of boiled down to uh, we didn't feel, certainly I didn't mm -hmm. feel, that we were ready to kind of like do, do give, it, give it to the other guys to, to finish the game. We wanted to make the, the, the version that we had as good as possible. Okay. And that meant kind of holding on to it a little bit longer than we had originally planned. So now we've given it to the um, to the guys. And maybe give them some free person. skins, maybe like one free yeah, skin maybe, or something like that. It'd be yeah. cool. Yeah, um, yeah, and the PC. Like one that. last thing is that I, I I play on PC with you know Twitch with my fans. Hopefully the PC is not going to be an awful port. You, you guys are oh, no, make no, sure no, it's, 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 it's it's awesome. It's going to be as good as the console. Oh yeah. yeah okay. Good. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. And we'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show.